do you have the courage to make a decision about a situation that you are not happy with or you feel you are stuck then you need to know that you can do this and here is my story so back in march 2022 one of my co-workers asked me to offer a mindfulness and an art class to her clients the clients were mothers and they wanted to do something with them and their children during march break so when i did it i thought okay i want something simple and quick so they can work with me on it and i started the class as i do usually with a meditation and i had them to think of what they want and a message that they wanted to convey through their piece of art and after that we started doing the artwork so I'm gonna share with you what I got the message and what it was about for me so the message was courage and if you look at the painting this is what I saw I saw a cactus in my mind's eye and this cactus was growing out of all the hardships that it was growing in. So this is sand and I have rocks and then the cactus. So this message for me was important and every message that we receive is important for each one of us. We had over 20 women in that class and none of them had the same message because when you calm the mind, you are able to connect to your higher self, to your guides and to the universal divine power so you can get the guidance you need on your path. For me, I got the courage and I saw the vision of that cactus growing through all of that terrain, the rough terrain that it was growing in. And when I asked the question, the courage to do what? Because it's not just about getting the message, it's about understanding the meaning of the messages that we receive when we meditate or when we connect to the divine guidance. And for me, the message was, the courage to leave Mississauga. Mississauga was the city I was living in for 10 years in Ontario. And since I moved there and I wanted to move out, but the opportunity didn't come and it didn't happen. And that was in March. In August, 2022, I got another message through my meditation, letting me know that it is time for me to move out. So I was so happy with that and I started packing and getting ready to move even though that I did not know where I'm moving to, what is going to happen next. All I did is I trusted the guidance and I trusted the process. So for you, if you are in a situation that is not serving your highest good, you're not happy about, then meditate. See what messages come through and through that you can develop a plan. However, the very first thing, other than meditation, calming the mind so you can receive the guidance, is for you to have the intention to take that action. Don't worry about the, what's going to happen. Don't worry about how you're going to do it. Don't worry about the process. Don't worry about anything. Just trust and start acting and making certain decisions to get you out of the situation that is not serving you at all. And that situation could be anything. Could be just the place that you live in that's making you sick, like what happened to me. It could be a relationship that's not serving you well. It could be a job that is causing you a lot of anxiety and stress. Any situation that's not serving you and your well-being, then you need to make that first, the intention to change the situation and second, start taking actions, even if they were small steps. Don't worry about the outcome. Don't worry about how it's going to happen because the universe is going to take care of that. So if you needed any extra help in you making a certain decision about a certain situation that you are going through now, you have to take me up on this offer where I'm offering 50% off any energy reading. The energy reading is going to help you first get clarity on what's happening. It's even at the subconscious mind because it's going to tell you what's going on at the subconscious level that you are not able to tap into. It's going to tell you about the energy of the situation you're in right now. It's going to tell you about the energy of what's coming next. And then the two of us will work together on having an action plan and taking the steps that will take you to where you want to rather than staying stuck in a situation that is not serving you at all. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. The link will be in uh, the caption of the video. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.